When looking to buy commercial real estate, investors look at what is feasible to achieve the maximum use, which is legally permissible for their money. To do this, they must undertake a market analysis to determine the highest and best use of the property. The question is, how do you determine the highest and best use of the property? When should you determine the highest and best use of a property? The highest and best use is a term used to it in accounting and finance. This determines the value and is vital in analyzing and assessing the value of a property. Determining the highest and best use of a property is a crucial decision to make both for accountants and investors and must be taken seriously. It helps them to know whether it's essential for investors to invest in more improvements or sell the real estate to help them understand which option will determine the best financial future. So if not make make more money out of it, maybe you should pass on to someone else and do something with it for whatever reason, or keep it upgraded to make more money through the value. When do you know if a property is best used for you? There are several factors to consider, location, amenities, zoning, and more. Consider these questions to help you figure out which commercial properties are the best for your needs. What is the process of determining this highest and best use? The process for determining this value may differ for various reasons. Different owners may have different plans for the property. Some might want to rent it for a little while. Others may want to run their business from it. The usage of the commercial real estate may differ according to what the, its owner intends for it. Consulting a specialist commercial real estate agent before deciding on a plan is advised. When considering the potential of a property, some of the more important considerations are the long-term tenant value, short-term value, marketability, development potential, zoning consideration, and tax consequences. The higher the long-term tenant value, short-term tenant value for the property, the higher its marketability. The more desirable a property is for development purposes, also increases its marketability. Zoning restrictions can either increase or decrease a property appeal and value. What purpose should your commercial property serve? It is essential to find the one that will provide the most economic benefit without considering how it could be used differently. This process provides the most significant economic return without considering a financial return. Before you spend any money on your commercial investment property, questions should be answered. Items that could be considered as a test of the highest and best use. They include the following items. Is the redevelopment proposal physically possible? This is usually the first test to get an overall view, verifying that the potential user must physically possible to undertake. With this, you can do, uh, so determine what the soil type is, the physical conditions, topography, and other characteristics, plus shape and land size, weather conditions, and other characteristics allow for development or redevelopment. What are the best possible uses, qualities, and features of the site or property? Can you afford to develop property? Would the use be financially feasible? Construction and improvement costs can escalate well beyond your initial list of, as been shown in the last few years. Do you have the funds to afford the cost of construction of land of improved design to achieve this? You will need to undertake market analysis to generate cash flow projections. You will also need to analyze the commercial property to determine whether it is financially feasible. Only if the real estate meets these conditions, would you be prepared to move to the next stage? The question is, is it a legal commercial investment project? The commercial investment market has seen a lot of changes over the past few years and is now becoming much more challenging to generate a return on your investments. 
when buying a commercial prop or making plans to develop your vacant land, many things you must consider, including the legalities of the use of the land. For instance, does a zoning allow for it? Have you checked out with a council and department about any necessary approvals? Does the property have the appropriate size, shape, topography, and physical features? Specifically, are you legally permitted to do it? There are also risks involved with the construction project. Construction projects are risky because there are a lot of things can go wrong. There can be an accident, completion may be delayed. Most, the most challenging part of the construction is the design phase, which includes ensuring plans are accurate and up to date. Designers need to make sure that they have all the information necessary to draw up plans for the project to avoid mistakes in the designs. This includes what materials to use and how much it will cost for each material. And understand how long it would take for each step in the process. Are there any risks involved with the project? Have your feasibility studies shown that the building improvements will have positive return investment? Does the, your market research show that demand for this type of project is increasing in the area? Is there a slowdown demand? The increased demand is the demographic changing? That sort of thing. Would the value of a commercial investment property be high if you undertake this redevelopment? There are many reasons why property's value may increase after redevelopment. Firstly, a new property is likely to be more appealing to buyers because they will see what is on offer and make comparisons. Secondly, it might have been poorly maintained in the past and look better with some new work done. Thirdly, if the area is in high demand, there may be more potential for rental income. Have you spoken to our, any specialist commercial real estate agents in the area or a real estate appraiser? Have you discussed any recent sales or leases that have confirmed good demand for a proposal project? Have you discussed any recent sales or leases confirmed good demand for your proposed project? More specifically, would the project result be improved to more significant value? The question, would the intended new use of the property achieve maximum productivity? In this stage, property investor or developer is required to rate every proposed improvement on its ability to generate the highest net return. Then this is compared to the risk. How does the risk return factor proposed compare to another? Is it worth taking the risk with the best possible? Turn scenario. These are the questions you should ask to achieve the highest and best use because we all want to get the maximum possible return on a commercial investment property. If you need any help, feel free to contact me. My contact information is down below.